Hello team foster family fun welcome back today I'm bringing you guys with me in the backyard to give you an update on the baby chickens for everyone who is new to our channel and this is the very first video that you're watching welcome to foster family fun I'm LaToya please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future foster family fun videos and like I was saying we're in the backyard and I'm gonna give you guys an update on the baby chickens I know it's been a while but we kind of been busy doing a lot of other things but we still have the chickens all six of them they're healthy they're happy and I just feel ridiculous right now calling them baby chicks because they are extremely large now they're seven weeks old in a couple days they'll be eight weeks old but it is beyond time for us to bring them outside for good for their permanent home so I'm gonna give you a little tour of their chicken coop so we have a small coop here that has a run attached to it and the run starts at the back of the coop and it goes all the way out here and then as you can see there is a ladder for the chicks to walk up to to go in and out of the inside of the coop and they'll probably just be doing that for sleeping purposes and also back here on the back of the coop is the nesting box and we don't have that set up yet we're actually and as I look in here Rory put the coop together a few days ago but it looks like the directions for the coop are still in here so we're gonna pull those out as well before we put the chickens in but also um, the nesting box it's a huge nesting box but I'm gonna divide it into two but the chickens won't start laying eggs until about um, I don't know these are fast growing chickens so they might start laying eggs in about 16 to 18 weeks so we still have a little bit of time before that happens but they're going to be in the backyard right on the side of the shed and we're actually probably going to move them around we're going to put wheels on the coop and be able to move them around so that they can get fresh grass on a regular basis and then also we have this lever right here that I'm pushing and pulling on because at night we will lock them up and then we'll close this so we don't have to worry about anybody or anything getting into the coops with the chickens and the run part has wiring all on the top on the sides to protect them from aerial predators. I don't really know what kind of predators we have back here because this is our first time having chickens. So we're just trying to protect them from aerial predators and maybe if like a cat or something were to get back here, but we won't really find out until we, you know, get them out here in the backyard. But this is their permanent home, little chicken coop. And it's not that big, but we only have, um, six chickens so in the main area here there are two roosting posts you can't see it right now because we have the roof on here but there's two roosting posts for them to get up on and sleep let me see if I can open up this little door right here with the latch that has windows that vent so they can get a breeze coming in and here we go we have two roosting posts up there and this thing goes all the way up so it's a very very high for them so they're not gonna bump their little chicky heads but we have two roosting posts and then this tray down here at the bottom will um, collect their poop but it's also easy for me because there are levers on this tray so I can pull both of them out and um, remove the tray and just clean the poop that way so that's right here on this side of the coop. And pretty much the coop came in a box. And Rory put it together step by step. 
we actually bought it off of eBay and um, I didn't realize it but it's pretty hard to get a chicken coop in the fall I'm assuming most of them were all sold out in the spring but we didn't get our chickens until the beginning of October so we're not really in chicken season but it doesn't really matter here because in northern Alabama like today it's a nice beautiful sunny day with a breeze so I mean we aren't gonna get freezing cold thick snow around here so our chickens will be fine plus the Golden Comet chickens are um, warm weather and cold weather chickens so they have good feathers and they have fluffy fluffy fur underneath their feathers so they'll be perfectly fine to be outside from here on out for the rest of their lives so we're gonna go ahead and load them up in the chicken coop and we'll see how they like it and how everything goes okay so the Rory's are getting the chickens out of the brooder and they're going to load them up into the chicken coop little Rory got the very first chick and there she goes in there and I will make sure she does not come out yes she's looking all around anyway she's curious to see what's going on Very good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Rory is a great chicken wrangler. He's got three of them in so far. buddy chicken number four she's in there all right good job All right, Rory, good job, buddy. You are a great chicken wrangler. Okay, that's it. And all six of the chickens are in here. We're gonna see, let them walk around a little bit, see how much they like it, see if they realize that the run is a lot bigger than just that end, that they can go under the chicken house as well. And then all we have to do is get their food and water put in here. And the run opens at the top and it opens at the side. there you have it guys all six of the chickens are in here as you can see they are all most completely feathered out some of their cones are coming in and they're all squeezing up together next to the food I'll move the food over a little bit but they're all gonna squeeze up together when they're uncomfortable they don't know their surroundings before they know they can really walk around and then walk up into here open this door up now I don't know how long it will take for them to realize that they can walk up in the house and sleep on the roost I don't know if that will happen tonight or if it's going to take some time maybe a few days or a week or so we'll just play it by ear and see how everything goes 
but pretty much this is what's going on with the baby chicks which aren't babies anymore they're like juvenile chicks and they're seven weeks old almost eight weeks old in a couple of days and now they are outside on the grass permanently in their new chicken coop. All right, chickies, I hope you enjoy your new home. Tell everyone out in YouTube land. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, chickies.